Uh, you want a bedtime story? Okay, let me tell you the story of how you were born. Uh, Sid, are you sure that's such a good idea? It might be too scary. Oh, don't be silly, Diego. I'm just gonna tell her about the day she was born. And about the world of giant dinosaurs below the ice. And about her Uncle Buck and how he fought Rudy the most ferocious T-Rex ever. What could possibly be scary about that? No, you're right. I just thought for a moment it was going to be too scary. Right. Well, it all started when... To adventure! Stop me! I know we've had some close calls, you and me, but this time I know what I'm doing! I've always said that Rudy smelled, well now I'm gonna stomp on his smeller!
say so myself. Yeah, to myself. thing we mammals have that you dinos don't. Survival instinct. That was your Uncle Buck. Always ready with a heroic line. He also had a way with nature, the rocks, and the plants. And he would argue with them constantly. Then, oh, the day he met your parents, little peaches, he saw something. Up, up in the sky. Well, up in the ice. To him, it was the sky. Dangerous, and you can't spell danger without buck. What? No, I know you can. All I'm saying is, what? I'm not going to argue about it. I've, I've got to go. No, no, really. Now to check it out. Right. Okay. Okay. Bye.
Into the great big... Whatever it is! Ah! Time for reflection! I got to use my keen parenting skills and maternal instincts to watch over my baby dinosaur. They were sleeping. No telling what might be out there that might try and keep them awake.
Now that's a nut! to adventure and I am just a guy to answer that call. Bring. Hello? Yes? Hold my call.
Run! See the pumps that go with this lady's feet. Sheesh! Is that all you got? He was adventurous, brave, and maybe only a little bit nuts. into a tight squeeze with an overgrown man-eating plant. Luckily, Buck was right there. Uh, excuse me, little help here? Uh, should I feel tingling? No, no, you should definitely not feel tingling. Oh, Rule number two, always stay on the trail, which is preceded by rule number one, which is always listen to Buck. Master, you push. Therefore, prepare to be mastered. Ha!
Oh, don't worry. I'll have you out before you're totally digested. Okay, okay, it'll take a while for that thing to digest the fat one, you know. Hey, I heard that! I told you, I'm not fat! I just have a lot of fur!
A touch of goop to keep me from becoming an appetizer. After that, your Uncle Buck set up camp for the night and told everyone a little bit about his life of adventure. Starting when he saw a sign he'd never seen before. Hmm, a sign I've never seen before. Okay, bad breath. Let's dance. I've seen some weird stuff in my day, but this... Oi! I could use it as a trail marker! I think my survival instincts are tingling! Thank you. 
Fella, all this effort for me? Right, let's rumble!
But as exciting as that was, your Uncle Buck still had one thing on his mind. And it rhymed with Smrudy. And of course, by that you mean Rudy. Wow, you're good. It took Eddie three tries to get that. Anyway, your Uncle Buck always said dinosaurs were hard to track. Funny, they never seemed to have much trouble finding him, though.
Ending?
Because he led such a grand life of even grander adventures, he had many loves along the way. Uh, were they not all rocks and fruits? Hey, at least he found true love. <laughs> Guess you're right. Please continue. Then one day, your Uncle Buck had to rescue one of his loves.
is no place for someone like you! Meanwhile, I was coming to rescue you. Oh, Sid, come on. Well, okay, actually, I was kind of being chased by Rudy. <laughs> Buck was coming to the rescue, about to swoop in on a pterodactyl.
Oh, but that's not the end. Oh, no! As your parents' adventure was just beginning with you, our adventure in the dino world was coming to a close. Well, at least until Rudy suddenly found your Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck thought he'd missed his chance to settle things with Rudy. But when he heard him again in the distance, things changed. Um, what are you doing? What? I'm telling Peaches about Uncle Buck and Rudy. Are you kidding? This is way too scary for her. Oh, Ellie is gonna kill me. I tried to tell him. Look, Manny, I understand. I was a parent too, you know. Sid, you were not a parent. Those were dino eggs you hatched. You watched them for a day. Then their real mother came back, and she almost ate you. Well, that's certainly no way to talk to a mother. It's still a good story. Anyway, Peaches, your Uncle Buck went back to the world below, and to this day, your parents still wish we could have left your Uncle Diego behind. Me? Shh, both of you. Good night, little Peaches.